Good morning, good afternoon, welcome to the International Intercept University. Today, I'm thrilled to be your trainer and residence person for today's session on literacy in the changing scenario. Yes, today we have, thanks to our visionary Mr. Piyush Pandit in International Intercept University to equip our skills and knowledge that we are truly empowering this. And our goal is to ensure that no one is deprived of education, skills, fostering a world filled with capable individuals. Today, today is an amazing day, a very important day to all of us. And we know that we are here today celebrating the International Literacy Day. So my topic today is very, very interesting and Today, I will share some of my knowledge, some of my examples of practice, good practice, what I'm doing with my students. So let me start and let me share uh, my, uh, my screen. Okay, just a moment. Well, what is my topic today? As I say, International Literacy Day, the literacy in the changing scenario. Wow, it's very, very exciting topic and very important topic. So here, let me start. Coming from Croatia, Professor Nada Radkovic, the IAU co-founder, the IAU president of Research Center. IAU board member, IAU country director, and working and living in Croatia, the most beautiful country on the world. And I can say a proud educator, proud educator who is working like assistant professor on the University of Split and the Faculty of Business, Economics, Tourism, and also working like a professor in a high vocational school. So me today with my students, this is one photo from my students, we were uh, celebrating and after we go to a walk and we go to the park because we have an amazing nature behind us and it's still very hot, very hot time, so we need to go little out. Uh, International Literacy Day, why it is important now here? on the IAU stage in India. I put here this uh, some statistics because we need to know that India is ranked like the formal literacy rates among 135 countries. So 60 lakh children in India are out of school. Every 50 students in India, there is only one teacher. Over 287 million people in India are illiterate. But I can say here, IAU is doing for all the students, not only in India, all around the globe. So there are so many challenges. There are so many new things that we need today. So I say today from 1967 the, uh, year, this is this literacy day, this international literacy day is celebrating why? Because we want to remind that the importance of literacy today, reading, writing, and me as a professor of statistics, you know what I always say to my students, a statistical way of thinking will be, be necessary like writing and reading. Because if you don't know statistics, you cannot uh, analyze, you cannot uh, uh, explain you don't we don't know what the numbers mean we need to know what the numbers mean and the percentage and here this agenda is going for the 17 sdgs goal and you see here that at least 763 million young people and adults are lack of basic literacy skills so lack of basic literacy skill, skills and also COVID, COVID make this crisis bigger. 
uh, why? What we need to do like educators, we need to help, we need to encourage, we need to uh, make awareness for this and only we can uh, help them. So starting from the starting from the elementary school, uh, high school, university, we need to work. And this this international day, somebody will say, why are you celebrating this? We need to put all of these days because uh, in the curricula, because it is very important, all the projects, all the things what we are doing, we already say we are out of theory. We don't want to learn only, only theory. We need practice. So the practical part is necessary. And here we have this. If we talk about the countries and we talk about the low and middle income, then we can say that we can share 10 year old children who could not read and understand a simple text with this. So you see 2019. 57% is estimated to 70% in 2022. That is a big, that is, that is a big moment. We need to do, we need to work more on this. Then here I said, we need an inclusive, beauty, beautiful, sustainable, peaceful, justice society. So many bad things are happening. We still have a lot of poverty. We have the wars. We have the uh, we have so many things that are happening around us, and if we if we don't make the action, not only talking today, already start with new actions. We already start with new actions. We have so many priests in the Africa, and the school year is starting, and the students don't have the books. They don't have they don't have the pens. They don't have the pencils. So we already send the money. We already send the money for the students. And I can say I'm a proud educator and my students are learning from me. So doing this on this topic and this literacy, today you see what is the progress, what it means be a developed country, which country today is a developed country. I can say the, develop, the most developed country are where we, are doing actions where we are making volunteer actions. So literacy is one thing. We today, we are here, we are talking, we are using English language. English language is not our native tongue language. But if I, if I talk today on my language, Croatia, who will understand me? Who will understand me if I talk on my language? Nobody here will understand me so uh, working on the skills on the hard skills on the soft skills giving uh, and giving uh, motivation inspiring using this we need to uh, we need to uh, arise the literacy and numeracy skills at the student so what is the topic uh, and the theme of this year uh, of the International Literacy Day. Uh, it is say, promoting literacy for a world in transition. What it means, world in transition. Then building the foundation for sustainable societies. We are all every day, everything what we are doing, everything what we are saying, we are all in talking about the, we are always using the world sustainable. Today, everything is sustainable. So let us see how can we promote, what are the actions, what are the activities, what we need to do to promote literacy in the world, talking about the world in the transition. So here it is by UNESCO, we know, and today already a big conference uh, which started in the morning at eight o'clock and it will be almost 20 hours. So uh, if, you if you couldn't have an opportunity to participate, to listen, uh, you will have the recording. Please listen the recording because uh, uh, there's, there are so many today, the examples, activities, what you need to do 
uh, with your students what you need to do to make a uh, progress of the literacy. So this is the thing. Once you learn to read, you will be forever free. You will be forever free. If you don't know to read, how will you be free? So these are the big transformations. This is the K. This is the K to the success. K to success. And then we can say all doors are opening for us. We have our knowledge. Uh, we can have uh, we can make learnings. We know uh, when we learn the letters, when we learn the words, when we learn the numbers. Then uh, I put here the, uh, from the UNESCO, from the research set, in the space of 40 years, there's a significant progress and it is made like 3,6 billion people have learned to read and write, raising the global literacy rate. So you see what is happening from 1979 to 2020. From 68%, it is growing rapidly to 87%. And that is, that is strengthening people. You know, my grandmother, my grandfather always say they, uh, they, they, they didn't have uh, the, they didn't have the opportunities. They, they, are, they lived in the rural part of Croatia, but they, they, they were making, they were, you know, when you want to achieve a goal, there is nothing that will stop you. So they were living very bad. They were very, they were living in the poverty, but also they go to school, they finish the school. So that is something very important. They were working, they were working all day to finance their schools. So also today, very hard time. Uh, almost all students are working during the holidays because they need money. We have a big, big inflation in Europe, in my country. So uh, if you don't work, I can say two or three jobs, you can really, you cannot live in today's, today's very, very hard day. So here is the agenda. We are talking about 2030. We know what are the main points. So I'm sure we will not achieve that, but there are, the statistics show that above literacy, about learning the gaps going leading to the literacy. So six of 10 children are attending the school at the age of 10. And in sub-Saharan Africa, 98 million of them uh, are going with these adults are still cannot read or write. And almost of them are the women. So you see still here the woman, and we are talking about the Sustainable Development Goal 5, gender equality. We want women. Uh, who are literacy. We want women who are who are living in this digit age. We are living in the digit age. Women need to be capable. They need to have the skills. So today we will not, we are not talking about only about reading and writing. We have so many literacy. So starting from digital literacy, media literacy, financial literacy, eco literacy. So if you are not working on all that, always will something miss. You will you will not have enough knowledge if you are not working on all these types of the literacy. Uh, here, uh, I say that we need a process and this is what we are doing. This is a lifelong learning, lifelong learning. And only on this way, we can contribute to the society. So you see today here, uh, today, my uh, my uh, my university uh, still didn't start. We are starting in October, and today uh, I was in high school, and this is my classroom and my first meeting with them. Uh, I had the first classes with them because we first day I met them, uh, see them. But it was not a problem for Professor Nada Ratkovic to start uh, start new uh, new activities, new project, and we uh, we uh, we celebrate this uh, uh, this uh, international 
uh, literacy day, uh, what we were doing, they get their task. There's, these are the activities. These are the activities what I do today with my students. So students participate in a discussion because if, uh, about this importance of literacy uh, and about the importance of human rights. We know that uh, I need to uh, I need to turn my light. Just a minute. Uh, so uh, today, uh, today we have uh, this literacy day. Uh, tomorrow we know that it is a world, <laughs> pardon, a world humanitarian day. So we already talk about the importance of the human rights. So uh, they learn and celebrated these days. They write the messages. Uh, I give them to write the messages and why it is important, what we need to do to improve our literacy. We discussed about the characteristics of literate persons in today's world, who are the most literate, what it means to be literate. So we reflected on the many challenges which we are facing today in this developed literacy in the society. So explain them and they know that if they are literate, literate they can do anything. So it is far, they need basic skills of reading, writing. Uh, media literacy, digi digital literacy, so many concepts that will uh, help the students to uh, make the learning. So we learn about the problem. We learn about the problem of the illiteracy. Uh, I give them the examples. Also, we uh, we uh, we were uh, for maybe thirty minutes. We were direct. We go to the uh, to the conference uh, to the conference, and we listen. A uh, little about uh, what is happening and what the uh, guests and what they are today talking about this in this hard world. So today, students need to be connected with this important topic, and they give their expression. Uh, you will see here uh, because we didn't have uh, we didn't have a lot of time, but the Professor Nada brings their task. They write on the paper. Why I give them? Why not on the laptop or computer? Because from this paper, uh, we will make uh, mes these messages. These messages will go uh, to to the students uh, where we are sending help. So in Africa, uh, some students will get this uh, message from the, from them, uh, and. Uh, we need to check all. We need to check all the words. Are uh, are there good spelling? Uh, is there any uh, errors? Uh, so we would need to correct uh, these things. Uh, how we how we uh, how we encourage our students? Here, like example, you see one e training project called My Literacy Glasses. Uh, this uh, this uh, project, e training project, was to uh, improve the media literacy. You know, we we make we make this like a new subject. So you see, first model is digital footprint. So we make ebooks, so we make videos, we make many things here. Then introduction to media literacy, uh, e magazines again, video. Then the model three is breaking the fake. We know that we have so many fake news, how to recognize what is the fake news today. And the model four is for a safer media world. So uh, we have always our outcomes. Our outcomes comes uh, in the form of a product. So you see uh, so many eBooks, uh, so many videos, so many stories, so many uh, promotion. This is only one we make. I don't know the number how many because every subject I have, uh, we we are doing it through this uh, through this uh, e twinning project. So here you see uh, me. Uh, it is writing on Croatia part uh, part. I didn't I didn't want because this is in the Padlet. This is original and I don't want to. Uh, to make no translations. So we make so many quizzes. 
we are talking about online uh, buying, we are talking how to recognize a fake news, what it means, cyber telt, uh, how to how to make uh, these things, and what are the medias, what it means, uh, media literacy and disinformation. So this is one part, this is one part in one literacy, only one literacy. Then we are talking about the financial literacy. So, uh, so many subjects, uh, analyze of the financial financial plans, uh, accounting. Uh, so, uh, in each one, uh, in each, they need to uh, they need to make uh, they need to be better uh, finance literate. So, coming from the definition of organization uh, of organization, economic, country development. Uh, we need to know what it is the meaning of financial literacy. So it is a combination of knowledge, skills, attitudes, behaviors, and information. How to realize that? But we need to know that we have three basic components. First, first component is called financial knowledge. How? What we know about running our finance. Uh, so like example what can do some professors uh when the students come you can give them the task from the first day that they need to note every every uh euro every cent every dollar uh that they spend uh they need to write they need to make analyze and see at the end how did they know to control themselves? They need to learn how to control themselves in the spending their money. Then what type is their behavior? What type of financial beha behavior also means so like me, you know, I always say Nada can control herself with the money. Yes, Nada can control herself with the money. Uh, when she is at home, uh, when she don't go to visit the shopping centers, but uh, you know we have a big challenge online buying. But you know, I said to Bada, you don't need to buy online because uh, uh, it will not be a good number size, blah blah blah. So that is something how I stop uh, stop buying by the internet. But when I come to the shopping center and five minutes i already see so many things so we need to we we this is we are talking about these things how to control ourselves in some things what we are doing so in each one subject uh, students need to be responsible uh, in spending the money uh, here is an example of croatia you see 33 percent of adults are financial literate Croatia level is 44% and European average is 52%. This is showing that we are below the European average. <clears throat> Even Professor Nada and so many of my colleagues are working very hard on this. But there still is a place for the improvement. And there are so many critical, critical areas. So what to the research data shows that is that students have deficiency in all three categories what we say about the financial literacy so their financial knowledge is really not good it is still very weak and even they want to be like example we have training fears they want to be an entrepreneur they they we are encouraging we are learning them how to be a great leader talking about the leadership talking about the types of leadership so investing them so many things and still still we need a lot and we have uh what is uh, contributing to this not uh, uh, to still this weak knowledge because students have so many problems they're coming from uh they like example family have the social problems uh even this corona so there's so many things that are influencing this uh, weak financial knowledge so 
we in Croatia, according to Croatia's perception, we have this transparency international, which is a party to the young people. Then if we're talking about the short time, the financial literacy we have, we, we are bringing, what it means short time? It, it means that what are we thinking and how much we will spend during one year? So that are the short term plans. You, what, are, what will you do in one year? So we have this product, we have this banks, we have so many shares. Here are the five financial literacy principles. So now we will go through this five uh, financial literacy principles. First is earn. We need to first earn, then save and invest, protect, spend, and borrow. What it means we need to earn. Uh, we need to understand what we need, what we are paying, what we are making, what is the difference in the financial goals. Uh, what is our goal? What's our goal? Do we have a retirement plan? So uh, I want to say that uh, we have an amazing competition. Uh, called uh, called um, uh, Croatia uh, Economic Olympiad and uh, the winners are going on the European level and uh, after after you finish after you finish uh, your study like example you get some money uh, you get uh, you get some money for starting your life but that amount is not big like I can say thousand dollars. Like you have thousand dollars, and now you need to live thirty years. How will you live thirty years? So in that in that game, in that program, you have options. You will invest. Uh, you will invest in the bonds. You will invest in crypto wallets. You will buy something. You will spend. And there is a way. How are you investing? So. This is very important using. So use and make your retirement plan. Take advantage and match it always over. Contribute to your plan because you are you are hard earning your income. We know how much we are working to get our income. I am working 24 hours. So I work in the morning, in the high school, in the afternoon, on the university. I'm whole day working. So if I don't work, I, I couldn't live. I couldn't earn money. I couldn't earn money. And it would not be enough for the living. It is not. It. So we need to know. We need to have a strategy. We need to manage our assets. We need to make things to us easier. So how can we meet our goals? Then after that, we have save and invest. How in now in which way will we save? If we have a budget, which way we will track our finance? What is our habit? Uh, do we see money? Do, will we get the money? How will we get the money? What we are doing to save the money? And in what will we invest our money? There's so many questions. So, very much very very different uh, categories uh, when you have your budget when you develop your habits when you go to manage your money when you start doing this when you have in investing this you need to make this you need to have the here when you are trying to save and invest that is our that are our long term goals then protection what it means protection so that is a fund which, which needs to be designed. So uh, we have the situation, what are happening that uh, we need additional funds. So uh, if we are talking about the sickness, uh, if we are talking about like uh, uh, we, uh, for studying for something, so we need to have this to make safeguards, to make if we have unplanned expenses but we always have this unplanned expenses especially now we are still in summer so winter is coming we need so many things for the winter uh, so that is the same and uh, for the for for the heating uh, uh, if you are not heating on the energy or on the solar panels or you don't have this uh, sustainable uh, way of the heating uh, you need uh, you need to spend a lot of money for the heating. So 
understanding, understanding your cash flow. That is a very important part. Before you set all your goals, you need to know when you are leaving, what it is mean, how will you earn your money, who will help you, how, do you need a help, do you need somebody, a consultant, a counselor, a mentor, or somebody who will help you to set your financial goals. Because if you don't know to, to set them, you will spend more than you earn. So what will help when you spend more than earn? You will go in a big gap. So borrowing, do we want, we, do we need to, uh, borrow the money we know from who we will borrow the money from the bank so this debts are including so many things so we are paying our bills if we are paying our bills on the time and then we have the credit if we want to mean we need to took our budget so bridge there is a big big bridge and this is a big gap between our paying our pay tax our taking our time and we have this lowest uh, rates and the fees and we want to improve our credit score uh, let us see which institution would you like to trust when you are receiving a uh, financial education from so you see from where you can get the knowledge about the financial literacy central bank ministry from none you are learning alone society don't know from the private bank from the non-government organization education agency. You see that we, we almost trust to the central bank. We have our Croatia central bank, but the, the main central bank is in the Germany, European, European uh, central bank, and it is on Frankfurt on the river Maina. Uh, then we believe to the ministry. Uh, so here, this is these are the research what the Organization of Economic Country Development made 2020. Financial literacy of adults in Europe. Then what do the what do the data say about the financial literacy in my country in Republic of Croatia? So when we are looking here, <coughs> this is a percentage of. Uh, of them who we were inter uh, interviewing, making an interview uh, with a high result of the financial knowledge. You see, Croatia has 47%, but on the first place is Hungary. This is Hungary, Estonia, Ireland, uh, Germany, uh, Czech Republic, United Kingdom, Mal uh, Malaysia, Poland, Albania, Peru, uh, Netherlands, Netherlands here. So you see, we we have a good, good, good percent of our with the high knowledge. Here again, we need to make a good relationship with the money. So if we want to have a healthy relationship, uh, we need to understand how to make our money. Uh, it will took us and lead us to the freedom, to the wellness. So relationship with money is very important. You need to understand your current relationship. As Professor Nada already said, you need to know, you need to control, you need to set your goals, you need to make these intentions, how to do this, then doing this healthy relationship. Also, what is the meaning of unhealthy relationship with the money? I can say, that Almost of us have more unhealthy relationship with the money than the healthy relationship with the money. So what it means? Impulse shopping. Uh, impulse shopping, that means that you will, in five to 10 minutes, buy sunglasses, you will buy sandals, you will buy three, four, five dresses for girls. <laughs> that is impulse shopping. Then making out credit cards, one card you have so many credit cards then from one card changing charging uh, uh, revolving this uh, one month 24 24 months so we are avoiding this we don't avoid we are avoiding to manage our finance then we are talking about the money with a seek financial support uh, being afraid to spend money is not necessary so this poor relationship with money also affects the relationships in your life. 
we know today what is happening, uh, what is happening uh, with so many couples. There is love till they have money. When money disappeared, the love also disappeared. So very sad, but very true today in so many countries, especially we like educators, we are seeing that from day to day. So many students coming from divorced, divorced uh, families. Also, so, how, so many students are living with their grandmothers and grandfathers because their parents cannot, cannot take care about them. So uh, we, we are talking about this uh, situation and if they're, if they're living in this unhealthy family, in unhealthy relationship doing this, then they sure have this relationship also. It is affecting their life. Uh, healthy relationships. So we need to know how to spend, how to make a plan and budget our money. How, how uh, what it means feeling good for money you can earn. You know, I, I'm always happy uh, with the money I'm earning. Uh, I, I always say, uh, we need to think on this way. We don't need to be a slave of the money. The money is not the most important thing in our life. So if we know how to control, how to make uh, plans, how to live without the debt, how to make... Uh, this feeling good and not be worrying about money. So if you are a slave uh, of money, you will always think about the money. So you that will put you in a big depression because uh, you are surrounded with so many people who have a lot, a lot of money and they are rich. But never think on that way. Don't think on that way because money didn't make us happy. So. If we transform our relationship with money, that is very achievable. So we need to create this relationship. We need to make a transformation. What it means, it means a strong, long relationship. Uh, this is something that I always like to, uh, always like to give to my students uh, uh, because if we talk about what are the main keys, work pl plus commitment, plus love, plus respect. That will give us happiness and successful. So working, being commitment, love, respect, always will bring a happiness and successful. If we talk about a marriage, Professor Nada is not married, but uh, I have so many friends who are married and I know what is the, how it is functioning. A marriage, uh, a marriage always needs to be based on a love and respect. So if that marriage is not based on love and respect, you will never be happy. So it doesn't be, you will never be happy. So, happy. so this will not, this will not, uh, uh, this pyramid, what we are building, this pyramid uh, will, will, uh, uh, will, uh, will disappear. There will be no, no pyramid. So what are the main qualities what we have? Uh, this is communication, commitment, kindness, acceptance, and love. You see, in everything here, we need to have love. Without love, we cannot do nothing. So even we are talking about our work, even we are talking about a uh, uh, person with, who we love, anything, anything what we do, we need to have this love, love to the love to our colleagues on the work, love to our students, everything. So the strong, <clears throat> the strong pillars <clears throat> at the moment. So the strong pillars are we're talking about safety, faithfulness, commitment, and reliability. So Think on this, think about this, analyze this, analyze this because happiness and successful is always coming from love, respect, work, and commitment. What are the case to have a successful financial plan? There are four main steps. Uh, define your objectives and goals, then 
uh, gather your personal and financial information, analyze that, develop and present your financial plan. How to manage money? Do you know to manage money? How, how are you managing the money? So this is a field you see today, Professor Nada is a lot in this field of financial literacy because I always say digital literacy, you can do that if you make practice, but if you don't have a knowledge about this, uh, taking care about your finance, doing this, how to manage, if you are spending a lot, so you need to track your spending, you need to save for your retirement, for the emergency plan. If you are in debt, you need to know, you need to plan how to make. So improve your mindset. We are talking about your money mindset and we are talking about the psychology of the money. And it is a study of our behavior with the money. So IQ or how good we are at the math. Success with money isn't about the IQ and about the knowledge. So IQ don't hear, hear nothing like at med, sciences, statistics or something. It is our behavior. It is our behavior. So let's like think. And this, I already say, psychology behind rich people. Rich people, for them, never enough. And that rich people will always say, oh, I don't have money. I spend the money. Uh, so researchers are treating this like tolerance, emotional stability, extraversion. So this millionaires, this, this, this millionaires are people who inter inherited their fortune. Are they happy with that million? How, what, what will they do with them? So their wealth, and they are really traded. They are really traded if you talk about this. And now, uh, Professor Nada says to you, let's think. Imagine you won on the lottery and you get million dollars. Make for you a list, make you for you a list of three investments that are acceptable to you. In what will you invest that you get one million dollars? So if you have that three things, uh, you can be free. You can write in the chat. So Professor Nada will see what you write and think, is it good? And maybe give you some. Uh, give you some uh, when I see what you write. Uh, I will explain you that what you choose and give you better alternatives for spending this million dollars. So my students are really motivated. I'm motivating them. I'm inspiring them. We are working. We there's no fail. So we they are creative. They are thinking. They, I can say. All of them are thinking like me. They are thinking out of the box. So coming from financial literacy, we come to the digital transformation. We are unlocking the digital transformation. And for that, our leaders, our, what is this? Some messages. Uh, our professors, we are for this. This is our responsibility to make the changes, to smooth, to make this communication. So today in digital literacy, a big digital transformation uh, for everything what you're doing, for your business, for all the process, for the culture, for the experience. Uh, there are four areas of the digital transformation. So we have this process transformation, we have the business model. So this business model, uh, is very important, domain transformation and culture, organization, digital transformation. So you see here, this is from the Scottish Digital Academy, a digital leadership pathway. So you need to awareness your skill level, working on your skill level. You need to practice your skill level and you need to expert your skill level. What is the meaning? You, uh, If you cannot learn alone, if you cannot, uh, if you don't have an opportunity to, to go to a course, to go to a training, uh, it, uh, uh, you need to do this like, uh, like seeking this skills level going through this. So we need to work on so many objectives, transformation, 
a new awareness, giving new digital program. And we see here so many thought leading companies and we can follow these companies. See this uh, HOS, IBM, uh, uh, there, these are the leading companies for the digital transformation. So remember, for, for improving your digital literacy, your digital skills, this is the meaning of digital. We need the digital culture. In Europe, we have the European frame. We are working according that European frame. So cooperation, innovation, change, performance, growth, new business and brand stakeholders, relationship, leadership, organization, and communication. Without this, you will not have a digital culture. So being flexible, being power, being curious, being uh, technological minded, these things are for you important because we are coming to the new trends in 2023, almost end 2023, but we will continue with this in 2024, also, the metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence in all this, uh, in this all new technology. So, power, robotic, quantum, Internet of Things, cybersecurity. But we have a big problem. We still have a big problem. We know that so many countries have still a program with the uh, problem with uh, electricity, uh, with this uh, 5G, uh, 5G networks. Uh, optical fiber is the most reliable thing that is going to connect to provide it to your physical wire. Then we have this LP double V uh, A network, Wi-Fi six. Uh, it is the next generation of the Wi-Fi called industrial Wi-Fi. We need this. It is it had uh, higher uh, higher throughput. More you can control. Uh, you can control better the quality. But then we have this cellular, the FG, uh, C, uh, 5G, 6G, also a next generations for the technology. And then this constellations of the satellites, what these satellites are doing. So we're coveraging so many areas uh, existing and uh, we, we will not talk about the low latency. There will be high latency services with this wireless. So uh, design thinking, digital, this is the frame, what I say, the competences for the democratic culture and if we want to be digital literacy. So these are the 10 digital citizenship domains, talking about the policies, talking about the stakeholders, talking about the strategies, talking about the infrastructure and talking about the evaluation. Summer model is always going with the digital literacy. So without summer model, uh, he's following the bloom, but bloom and another way. We are talking about the redefinition, modification, augmentation, substitution. That is bringing us to the modern approach to the digitalization, to the iPedagogy well. Artificial intelligence is helping us in everything what we are doing in any field talking about health, social science, any, any field, and this natural language processing. We are coming to the questions of the ethics of the AI. So can our AI suffer? What is, is IA fair? What are the new jobs? What are the new things? What uh, AI can come? And that is why I always suggest this David Cobb's learning model. Uh, we need to, everything what we are doing, we need to feel that, we need to feel and watch, we need to watch, we need to think, we need to watch, we need to think, we need to do, we need to do, and we need to feel and do everything. This is our life also. This is for everything what we are doing in our life. Everything we need to feel if we want to do that, if we want to accept and think. So thinking, watching, Thinking, watching, thinking, doing. Think about this. This is a very important model. Then the application of the uh, internet of the things, all these sensors, all the security systems, everything what we are talking today. Uh, blockchain, we talk about the financial literacy, how to get the money. Blockchain, without blockchain, we cannot get the money. Metaverse is giving us everything what we need to do. We are supporting the virtual spaces. 
Then we come to the ChatGPT, ChatGPT4. Technology is helping us, giving us advantage, competitive. We are always, so we talk about this digital transformation. We want to move forward. We need to address our challenges. We are hiring new strategies. We are increasing the risk skills. We are, we need to do digital transformation efforts. That is something that we are building a blind spot for everything. And that is the part. The biggest online interactive learning event. Technology should improve your life, but not become your life. And we don't need to forget one more literacy. It is called eco literacy. So Professor Nada uh, was participating in this World Media Literacy Forum. And it was about the eco media literacy. Uh, giving the psychological footprints, mind prints for the media. So integrating ecology in the media education. By professor from the John Cable University, he made this book, he write this book, integrating ecology into the media education. So if you don't read it, it would be good to read it to understand more about the eco media literacy. And if we want to define the eco media, eco media, media are a part of and about the environment. So making a combination of this literacy with other old literacy, there is a big correlation. We need to put a link, we need to make this link and we need to combine all critical media literacy techniques. So with other studies, other studies. So we have this object, we need to have this linear lifetime of the digital devices. So uh, we have so many experts, right? who are working uh, on this uh, digital devices, giving these components, making these microprocessors, uh, packaging, doing this energy consumption of service for many apps. Uh, so production, shipping, use, and in giving this, uh, uh, this cycle. This is, this is about this uh, map. You can, you can talk one hour to explain uh, this uh, life this linear digital devices but professor nada already broke the time uh production chain we are watching monitoring this by this shoots uh coming to geology the mineral mining energy gadgets conflict minerals cola gold so we see gold so many components copper aluminium plastic screen so geology and media industries and this mineral mining and energy then we see this disposable population uh, this is this is something uh that we really uh it is a reality uh try to try try to do uh, try to do things on the better way learn 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 about the footprint you know we have a digital footprint ecological footprint, media footprint. So think this everywhere you are uh, lifting your, uh, your footprint. Then ecological mind prints. So pay attention while walking. You see here your Facebook status up to can wait. Uh, you see ISAP, meltdowns, environmental crisis, drug refuges. So coming from media to eco media. From ego to echo, it means when was ego? Ego was, there's a big transition. So transition in financial, a transition in a digital transition. And here you see, starting from anthropocentric to the echocentric, how go coming from ego to echo? What was the way, how, which is the process? this object integrating ecology into the media uh, we have this eco media sphere uh, this sphere is very important to understand about the eco culture uh, political ecology life world eco materialism uh, so this this photos these photos are great examples of giving this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this object, comedia object, uh, and here uh, we come again. So 
everything uh, everything is uh, whatever we do have a connection with uh, psychology emotional intelligence uh, uh, you see echo culture is connected with your beliefs so beliefs are the values uh, what it means values white liberal green radical then we're talking about the frames language frames americas we know what is the meaning of this Americas. Then life words. Here in the life world are coming this cognitive dispositions. These are our emotions. What about our emotions? So we are selecting them, we are maintaining with our with our thing and our beliefs, ideology, and this type of design. So sharing reading making algorithm so for this echo materiality you need algorithm you need algorithm then political you will say what why we need here political ecology but here is we have so many forces called political and economic forces and coming we still are living in the capitalism capitalism is uh, is uh, no capitalism we know uh, we know uh, the way how it is functioning so our ideology our belief our emotions our design uh, what uh, what is your like example is here what is your idea or cam that you is like a media literacy educator how would you apply to the environmental justice to teaching media literacy what kinds of activities can students do how can we mobilize media literacy to echo justice so why should we care what will we do so here i want to show something uh that we we on this this and this big forum, this is weird. This was a big, real big world forum. Uh, I was in this group one. So I have this Julia, Ingrid, Alice were working with me. Uh, we have, we got this for our uh, workshop. What resonated with you? So we needed to explain the infrastructure and eco-media literacy. Then we talk about the literacy we make a correlation you see i, I show you the echo and edge ego and echo media what what is the paradigm shift what is the meaning that how could you and why would you apply for this justice and how to teach media literacy you need to have projects you need to have other things you need to write journals you need to uh, live ethical you need to teach how to organize this, this non-violent political things, projects to support the local community, foresting, cleaning. Uh, you need to be you need to be very, very organized how to how to handle your time. So I know that so many of us are really not sleeping enough. And that is the only way how can we manage but we need to think about that. Do we uh, really sleep enough? So group two had another question. Group three had another question. Group four also have another question. So here were the questions. How can we do this justice? How can we spend this justice? How can we you see how many people were participating in this? We have so many groups, but four people, and that was great. Now. What I do now today, make a new project, a big project also called School Education Accreditation and Innovation in Education. Uh, me and my partner, my partner from Turkey, now we are, we are founders of this project. Uh, we are waiting for the approval from the agency and then we will involve other other partners in our project. We want to bring this and here and this we can have all. We already make all this type of literacy through the projects, through the e-training project. Now 
we trying to do something new and this is something new innovative we will aim to have this we will have a student center who will be here including our benefits from the technological development and so and etc and etc thank you for your attention thank you for being with me uh today uh, thank you for celebrating with me the uh, international literacy day uh, i hope uh, i hope that uh, i i know that we need so much time but i try to go through all the types of literacy uh, explain them and give them the examples and how am i doing with my students so big greetings from the most beautiful country croatia you see we even have we are full of love we love we love we really love you see we have so many islands who are in the form and have the shape of the heart so thank you thank you so much uh, for your attention uh, we are i will see in the chat is anything uh, that i need to uh, answer or something like that uh, thank you. Thank you for being with me. And uh, let us build a sustainable uh, society. Uh, let us go through this transition. Let us learn us to control and to know how to manage our finance, uh, how to build strong relationships, uh, how to make and how to handle and how to go through this uh, digital transformation, and how to take care about the echo media uh, literacy uh try to uh, always uh, think about this media literacy about the fake news so many disinformation that's information around us uh, so many bad things people are doing to other uh, even writing bad things uh, uh, so you know professor nada always say god is with us never do nothing that you would want that somebody do to you so avoid fake news thank you thank you so much and see you again very very soon bye 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 bye